Right, hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video, this week's video. Um, I thought I'd just do things a bit different, introduce my videos a bit different, just to, you know, make a bit of variety. So um, this is one of my old tractors I had when I was farming. I bought it second hand because I used to be into restoring old tractors as well. Um, so I got a few Fergies, 35s and a Dexter, Force and Dexter, I've got a few old tractors. And um, this one I was going to do up, I bought it cheap but I never got around to it and I just started using it. And I've used it and used it and used it and then when I gave up farming it kind of didn't get used anymore. It's been left in the field. I was intending to restore it but I don't know if I will now, I'll probably just get rid of it. But um, yeah. So I thought I'd just do this, you know, introduce a video to one of other one of the other things that I used to like doing. So uh, it's an old international 434. I had two of these and an international 276, which is, both of them are over there. Um, anyway, away from that, I've just come back from work. Um, today I've been driving the dust cart, emptying the bins. And um, which is quite appropriate because um, this week's video is going to be a more modern corgi, but a corgi river pack refuse collector. And because uh, I like dust carts as well, and lorries as well as tractors and dinky toys. So, um, yeah, before we start that video, I'd just like to say thank you to all my subscribers, new and old. And thanks everybody for all your comments and thanks for watching all my videos and um, thanks for all the advice because I've had quite a bit of advice and a lot of things I wouldn't have thought of myself so it's, it's really nice it's like a nice little community all this um, all the, the modelers that are doing their videos on YouTube and you get some great feedback so that's cool okay so without any more hold-ups like I always say sit back relax and enjoy the video. Okay, let's take a closer look at this one. Um, quite a nice little dust cart. I like my dust carts as well, because I used to drive one and I still do now and again at work. Um, it's not in bad nick. The bumper, the front bumper's all busted, so I'll have to sort something out with that. But um, not too bad, it's got the modern corgi wheels on it. It's quite a modern modern one this. Um, this doesn't stay up anymore. It's got this piece in here but there's a piece inside, a plastic piece that's missing and I don't think I'd be able to get that and I don't really want to. I've had a look on eBay and there's quite a few of these you know going very cheap but I don't want to go and buy one and then break it just to do this one, do you know what I mean? If I get one even if it is cheap and it's fairly rough and it's got all the bits in, I'd sooner do that one up and leave this one like it is. I don't, uh, I'm not a believer <laughs> in buying another one as a donor vehicle if there's nothing wrong with it or very little wrong with it. These pins are very well worn in here so there's a lot of, you know, a lot of backwards and forwards play in that. Got the old plate in the back. Oh, it does slide. It's jammed. <laughs> yeah, so um, the axle's a little bit bent, not too bad. 
So, uh, yeah, that's about it. I'll try and get these stickers off because they're shiny. So if I can try and get them off, I might stick them back. I don't know if that's just the way it is or whether, no, I think it's just the way it is. It looks almost as if it might be slightly bent, but it's hard to tell. Can't be, I don't think. Well, I'll have a closer look at that when I undo it. Okay, so that's about it, really. Dismantling time. Right. This has got to come off. There's two rivets in the back and um, the one on the left is nothing holding. It's worn away. And this one on the right is almost, it's just about worn away as well. So, now this is easy as that. So, that's the back off there. The plate there. The blade. I think it's just the way it's made there, it's not bent. I thought it was. Okay, so these rivets now is a plastic base. These rivets now, I'm just going to just drill the edges enough to be able to get that off because I don't think I'll be able to glue any rivets into there. Well, I won't be able to drill that out because there's not enough. There's not enough space just there to put a rivet, so I'm not sure about the front ones. So I might have to just glue that back. Anyway, we'll see when, when it's undone. So I'll just drill a little bit, the big drill, and then it goes off the rivet. That's enough on the front, see? Not on that one anyway, I don't know about this one. No, I'll do a little bit more on that one. Oh, they are. They look very out. So they are. Oh, so there, there's room to. I might drill into those in and put a rivet in the front. At least that'll hold it. So there's plenty of uh, pillar there to drill into. So that's a bit a rusty axle. Ooh, that's not very good. See, that's broken. So I'll have to do something about that. Make up some kind of a leg to put on there. Maybe I will need to get a donor one. I should be able to put a piece of plastic on that. Ah, so the old windscreen window unit's pretty good. Should clean up all right. And uh, this back axle. It's just pinched in those jaws, so I'll just open them out a little bit. Actually, I'd better to do it with a bigger screwdriver. Just enough, I don't want to do too much. Almost. 
a little bit more. What they blooming stubborn, blooming stubborn. to do this off camera. Yeah, I'll I'll get this done and then I'll come back to you because I can't I can't see what I'm doing very well over the top of the camera. Okay so I've managed to open that up and get that axle out so it's not too bad. I'm not gonna take the wheels off the axles. Um, these are yellow, some of them I've seen have got silver wheels so I don't really know whether to paint them yellow again or do them with a monotone pen and do them silver which would probably be my easier option is to do them silver I think it would come up better but anyway, I'll think about that one ok so now all I need to do is drill those out ok ok so I managed to drill the uh, posts out there wasn't a lot of room for this, the uh, bigger rivets well the normal size corgi dinky rivets um, these I'll just leave I'll stick the back back on that because I don't think there's a lot I can do about that so um, yeah this bit now is ready for the old plastic soda now I'm not sure what to do with this bit for the minute because these pins I don't really know how they come out but they're loose as anything so I've got to get them out but I have a feeling that once I do get them out um, I'm going to have to do something else to put them back uh, because there's too much play in all that so I'm going to have to put something a bit bigger the holes must have worn or the pins must have worn over years of playing with this thing and um, it needs to be tight so that that clips that clips in the top to hold the, keep the back up keep the back open so I'll have to have a look at that carefully and see how it comes out so I'm going to have a look at that and then I'll come back to you ok so I just put the screwdriver underneath them one of these pins and it appears that they just they just push in so uh, that's not so bad so whether I can glue them in to keep them tight See, it's loose, but it's tight. This, this one, yeah. Oh, boom, there you go. So she's gone there. So. There. So that's all it is. is I don't know whether they were screwed in or what. They can't have been screwed in because they're round heads. I think they're just pushed in. But anyway, they'll be pushed in now, right? So anyway, that's that's off. So that can once 
I get these stickers off, that can go on a caustic soda. Now this here has just got a little tiny rivet piece there. So I don't know, I don't know if you can see in there, it's kind of pinched over in there so I don't know if I can just get the screwdriver in and just try and straighten it out enough to pull it pull through. It's not easy to show you in the camera angle. I don't know if I can bend it, bend it out straight enough to uh, Pull it through from the other side. It's not easy to see what you're doing. I can't even see what I'm doing without my glasses. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. Right, okay. So we're all dismantled. I managed to get this piece out. Um, I managed to get the stickers off. Taking some of the paint off as well, off of these, so I'll have to use glue to stick them back. Um, I managed to pick them off with a knife. So I'll look for some new ones. If I can get some new ones, I will. If I can't, worst comes to the worst, I'll use those again and I'll have to stick them on my super glue. So anyway, I'll stuck them on that plastic for now, stop them uh, sticking to other things. So that's it now, all ready for the caustic soda. So. Off we go then. Right, here we go with the boiling water. Silver's coming off all right, but the orange isn't so doing that great. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Okie dokie, I'll leave that for a bit in there. caustic soda didn't work very well on this one well it got most of it off um, but I don't know how much of it was the caustic soda and how much was the boiling water but anyway um, there's, there's quite a bit of uh, little bits around there to, to pick off so I'm going to do that it'll take a little while so I'll get on with that and then while I brush it the back all the Silver paint came off all right on the back end, so that's fine. That just needs a wire brush. Okay, so I'll get that done. Right, so the back of the dust cart, the piece that hinges up, had the plastic piece, or well, it's got the plastic piece missing in the bottom. And uh, I need to try and make something, but I don't really know what the original piece 
looked like other than photos of uh, these um, models are, uh, for sale on eBay. So I've got to try and make something up and I thought I'll use this piece of plastic again like I used on my Balford roller roof and um, so far this is what I've done. I've got to cut that off but I've got to narrow it down a bit there because there's got to be a bit of plastic. This this piece here, bit in the middle, has got to sort of push over that little bit of metal there so that the back snaps shut. So that's what I'm trying to do now. So this this is how far I've gone so far. So that's it. I've heated that bit of plastic up and kind of twisted it around a bit. Um, I might have to do it a little bit more. So that's what I'm doing anyway. Okay, finally I got that done. So I've made the bit of plastic, or not made the bit, I've made the piece out of a piece of plastic. This rotates all right inside. This little piece here, whoop, this little bit here, should clip underneath that there hopefully when it's all back together so I've drilled two I've drilled two little holes in the bottom to um, just to rivet in place it in place I'll put um, the normal rivets that we put the base plates back with I'll use two of those and I'll just glue them in so that should hold it so now I've just got to take that out and give it a bit of a tidy up with the files and that and then give it a paint and hopefully that should all be happy days now whilst I'm on a bit of a roll here what I've done I've drilled out these holes a little bit bigger in the back and the same in there because if you remember when I dismantled it, there was an awful lot of play in the back. So I had some old pop rivets, but they were they were too big. So I filed them down, put them in the end of the drill, in the drill chuck, and I've held a file to them, and I filed them down the shaft and the uh, end bit, so that the end bit, see, it'll fit inside the little recess there. I don't know if you can see that. Might help if I'm pointing the camera at the right piece. <laughs> yeah, so um, that should fit in there and uh, see in there, and it'll go through. And I'll glue the ends of these into this bit here, and that should tighten up all the play. And uh, hopefully it'll clip properly how it's supposed to. Right, that's that bit. I'm going to go out and paint this now. Um, it's just a nice day, sunny outside again. So I'm just going to go outside the door and um, spray that silver. I'm not going to prime it because the silver seems to work just as well going straight on the metal. Okay, so I'm going to go and do that. Bad. Not 
bad. Good. Right, I uh, primed this just before, and uh, what a while ago now. <laughs> so I'm just going to go out and paint the orange. I can't video it because my camera battery's flat and I've got it plugged in now, so the wires are not long enough. <laughs> and um, I'm going to do it outside because the weather's nice. I only use the spray booth if I have to, if the weather's really bad outside. Okay, so I'm going to go and do that and then I'll show it to you when I've done it. Okay, this PCR was snapped off. Um, so I've just made a piece out of this yellow plastic again. Blooming good stuff, this, and I chucked a load of this out the other week and I was having a tidy up I thought I'd been there for two or three years I've not used it I'm not likely to use it luckily I kept two or three bits but I wish I'd have kept the whole lot now because certainly coming in handy anyway so I sorted that out my well, paint doesn't quite match but you won't see it so it doesn't matter and this where the bumper was all snapped and you know worn down in places where it's been dropped so I've, I've filed it all down so that that's sort of level and then I've cut a piece of this yellow plastic again and uh, I'm going to put that glue that on there like that and then obviously paint it black so hopefully that should uh, that should be okay Okay. Okay, so I've stuck that on, and uh, I've tried to fill a little bit where the where the join was. So I'm just going to go outside and give it a coat of black paint. Um, I, I will give it. I'll give it gloss paint because I, I prefer the gloss. I know it's plastic, but. Um, yeah, I'll do it with gloss. Right. Uh, now I've got to mask this off because I've got to do this front grill black. Now I could hand paint it, but I'd rather spray it because I think it'll have a better finish. So I need to mask this off if I can, somehow or another. So it's going to take a bit of time because I'll have to do it properly, really properly. It's going to be easy.
there we go. All cling filmed up, masked up, all ready to rock and roll. Okay, that's the grill painted. And um, whilst that's drying, I've decided sod the coffee and biscuits. I'm going to have a glass of wine instead. So cheers everybody. Bloody good. Right. Start to take the uh, cling film and masking tape off and hopefully it won't get too much paint off. I know it's taken some off because I've already seen it around the headlights so I'll have to touch that up. Sorry if I'm heavy breathing, my nose is right next to the camera. A little tiny bit off there. Have to touch that up. A little bit off there around. Well, I knew about that because when I was sticking it on, it did that. Not too bad. Okay, so I'll have to do the detailing on the headlights next. I might actually do that as a chrome surround now. Now the paint's come off there. Okay. Well, I can break this off now because I don't need that anymore. That's it. That's it. <laughs> All the super glue over time, I keep using the same screw, and what was inside the screw head is now stuck to the bottom of the chassis. Okay. Right. Okay, here it goes. We got all the bits here now. And, uh, it's the old window unit being in the pledge. Okay, so we'll start by putting that in, I think. Just slips in, there's nothing, nothing to hold it in, that one, it's just the, the base holds it in. Right, so the old steering in, I suppose. Um, 
like you, I can't remember how often this goes now. That's, oops, that's the plate, so that must go there like that. Well, before I put the plates actually, I can put the wheels, because it's like in two bits, isn't it? Can put the wheels. I did the bumper so that will go in there and hold everything together. Right. Okay, so we're not going to, we're just going to put a bit of glue on there to hold that. Nice down. It. And then I'm going to put the two. I'm going to put two rivets in there. Okay, so I'll go back to my old method. Putting the glue in. Hang on, put my glasses. Not very tight fit, but it'll be alright when the glue dries. It's pretty clipped into place anyway, I think so. I'll put a spot of glue on those. Keep that pinched for a bit till the glue dries. Right, I'm going to put this bit in the back that I made, so and hope it works. My idea, because otherwise, I don't know.
If it doesn't work, I don't know. Get a bit of glue in there. In the right place in there. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. Hopefully that's it. Hopefully that's it. Right, now this flipping thing, this is going to be a bit of a fiddle. I'm just going to go in that way. Just got a little bit of a peg in there to go in. It's got a slot, sort of a slot to go in so that you get it in the right place. Do you think I can get it in? Oh, for goodness sake. The Yeah, I've got to try and display that out again. Trouble is, I can't see a bloody thing here. Yeah. Okay, so put the back wheels on. And then uh, not sure. Do I just pinch them back with the pliers and touch up the paint? Or do I just glue? really know what to do. I'll, I think I'll pinch them together and just touch the paint. Oh, that was my fingers cracking. Okay. a bit more. If I use the bigger pair of pliers I'll have more leverage. Oh my fingers again. Hmm. That's it. Okay, job done. And I'll just touch it up as hardly scratched it. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Okie dokie chocolate bars. Now I need to put this in this time. This way. Put it back a little bit. Some muck in there. See? Like right, that just goes in there like that. And then I said I was going to put a little bit of glue on there before. A little bit around there. Boo, that's enough. That's enough. Okay. Put her in. Oh, come on. Oh, that's it. That should be okay now. That should glue. Should be enough glue on that to hold it. Well, I'll just leave that for a bit to dry. Right, next bit. Now I've got to put this back onto there now oh it's going to be a bit tight because I tightened it up a bit you remember I pinched them in a bit Now I've got these pins. Uh, I needed to put a little bit of glue in there, didn't I? Should have done that first. In these holes. Okay. I'm probably going to grow the blooming thing to the truck. Right. Put one pin in first. Should go. Oh my goodness me. Where won't it go? It all went on the dry run. not going in now. That one's gone. Went quite lined up.
that one needs to go a little bit more. A little bit more. Now I've made a dent in that. Well, I need to bend that a little bit. The paint off that now. To bend it a little bit more because I didn't know quite where to put it. Obviously, I couldn't. Uh, a little bit more still. Too long, so I'm going to have to cut the end off it. There's these snips. I couldn't tell before because until I had the pins in, Okay, so that's it pretty much done. Um, I've touched up a couple of the little chips I had. I've touched up there where I pinched the, uh, that bit together there to put the um, back axle in. I've stuck these stickers back on as best I can with super glue. They're not great, but they're all there, so, you know, that's not too bad. So yeah, it's come out alright in the end. Quite pleased with the way it's turned out. I'll put a uh, sticker on the back as well. Right, so there were a couple more clips. Me touching up a couple of the chips. And I um, can't remember what the other one was. But anyway, my missus was on the phone and when I gone to edit it. I'll tell you what, Crocky, she can be loud sometimes, eh? So, I I tried doing a voiceover on it, but the uh, microphone on my laptop, it it's, sounds pretty shite, actually, so I thought, well, I'll just get rid of those clips anyway. So, um, that was stick. oh, that's right, well, it was sticking the stickers on was the other, the other clip, so it doesn't matter, it probably would have bored you anyway. So, um, Right, well, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed what you've seen, because by the time you've got this far, you will have seen most of it. And uh, if you have and you haven't subscribed, then please subscribe. It would be very nice if you could. Thank you. And, um, yeah, everybody stay safe. Until uh, next time, it's goodbye. So hopefully in another week's time, a week from today. So bye for now. So just before we go, we'll give ourselves a reminder of what it was like before we started. And we'll have a look on the old turntable.